Nerds! Welcome to Nerd Magic, time to get nerd up. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to spread the word up. Okay nerds, as you can see I'm still rocking the Zero Lemon case on my LG V20 and honestly I'm really starting to dig the case. If you're interested the link for the case is in the description below. But let me show you guys how to fix Snapchat on your rooted Android device. I'm just gonna go to Snapchat and let you guys see what happens when your phone is rooted. Just gonna put in my username which is nerdmagic111. So make sure to follow me on Snapchat, add me please. <laughs> Ok and once you click on login you'll be introduced to this prompt if your phone is rooted. For demonstration purposes let me just do that again so you see what happened. Ok and this is a pretty easy fix all you gotta do is just simply go to the link in the description below. It will send you to this URL and kudos to the developer Shakalaka for coming out with this amazing application it's called Root Switch. Just download the latest version which is 1.2.9. Open it with Mega Wrap. I already have the shit downloaded, so I won't be re downloading it. Instead, I will be installing that shit right now. <laughs> Simply click on install, like what I will be doing right here. And once the application is finished installing, click on open. Give super user permission. Now, once you're in the application, the first thing you want to do where it says stop all SU daemons, you just want to tick on that. And after you have that ticket where it says root enable, just simply disable that shit. And that's pretty much it. Now you just want to simply just go back to Snapchat. Okay, let me just go back to it right now. Let me just see if I can find that son of a bitch. <laughs> okay, I found it. Now I'm just going to be putting in my login credentials. <laughs> now let me click on login. Give it a second to populate here. Just take a okay and as you see Snapchat is working 100% now on your rooted Android device. So yeah let me just go back to it just to show you guys what happened here. Okay and as you see everything seems to be functioning perfectly. Everything is working absolutely fine. Now guys this is my recommendation right now so that you don't brick your phone with this application. I recommend you do this. Simply go back to root switch. Where it says root disable you want to enable that shit. And where it says stop all SU daemons, disable that and in addition to that just uninstall the application right away in case you accidentally tick on something that will root your phone. And that's pretty much it. Have yourself an awesome day and I love you guys.